especially near her chest at the bottom of the frame i want to give the illusion that that light is slowly falling off so it's not really as bright as it is on her forehead it's a little lighter so an easy way to do that is to create a patch of the background put it on top of the actor layer and kind of reduce the opacity so that it blends well if you followed along to this point it's going to be pretty simple and straightforward so i want to create a patch of the background layer on top of the actor layer so i'm going to create a duplicate layer off the background layer i'm going to bring it on top of the actor layer now i'm going to create a mask on that so i want to create the patch exactly where i want it and where i want it is on the bottom of the frame on her chest and I want it to feel like the light is dropping off. I'm feathering it out. Make a few small adjustments here, kind of just playing around with this. There's no definite ways to do this. You know, you're just trying to figure out what works better. I really like that. It's kind of taking away some of that distraction caused by the jumping keyframes. And now I think it's a little darker than I wanted it to be. It doesn't feel like there's a natural fall off of light. It feels like there's a hard stop. So I'm even going to drop that opacity down a little bit to kind of make that fall off a little more natural. You can see the difference that this tiny layer creates, right? So if I hide that layer and play it across, you see all those distractions kind of popping in. And as soon as I add this nice little smooth layer on top of it, you're suddenly, you're not distracted by that anymore. There you go, that's how you create a convincing day to night effect. There's still some things I want to fix in this shot, but for our purposes, I've given you enough knowledge and information to create a more convincing effect on your own. And I'm just going to quickly show you guys what I did for Ghost Searchers for this particular scene. So with Ghost Searchers, as you can see, it's a lot more subtle, right? It's a lot more subtle than what you, we just did right now and you can see a little more information in the background and that light on her face is even more subtle but i was able to get even that shadow from her hair to fall on her face and i was able to do that by importing it into after effects because it can create a more accurate tracking using its built-in rotoscope tools and you can just track those highlights on her face and create a separate patch using that and then compositing all those together. As you can see, this is the original project file. I actually have three patches on there and then one After Effects patch to create a more convincing effect. And this effect is a lot more subtle than the one that we created. But a lot more accurate but it's really up to you however you want to do it the purpose of this video was to give you the tools and information to make it as complicated or as simple as possible i hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions or if you have any trouble converting your day scene to a night scene for your particular case please leave a comment below and i'll make sure to get back to you as soon as possible thanks for watching